Welcome back to TMZ Sports. I'm Mike Babcock. I am very excited for our next guest. This man is an absolute legend. One of the founding <laughs> members okay. of Voice of Men, Nathan Morris, joins TMZ Sports. Nathan, What's happening, man? man, thank you for doing this. Been a, obviously, uh, like millions and millions of other people, have been a huge fan for a very long time. So now, Nathan, it, it, yeah. look, March Madness is in full swing. We are down to the final four, but that's dead to me because my bracket is destroyed. Yeah, so you got to find a new bracket, right? <laughs> hey, I, I have to find a new bracket, and I think I have found a new bracket because you guys, okay. you're, you and your band are uh, you're doing something really cool. So you have taken your many, many hits, 16 of the best boys to men hits over the years, and you have actually put them in a bracket, and now we are down to our final two songs. And, of course, the final two are End of the Road and I'll Make Love to You. I mean, what else? But Nate, do you agree with the fans? Well, I kind of beg to differ, but I'm different. So talk to me now. What? Yeah, what, I mean, what? they're not quite mine, but okay. I mean, I can understand fan base why they would be. But, you know, I'm a little intricate, so I'm a little different. <laughs> so I'm a Motown Philly fan. I mean, I'm a little biased because it's our, our first song. Yeah. Um, you know, our introduction to the world. Uh, and uh, Sean and myself wrote it, so I'm a little biased. But the, the weirdness of it all for me is I'm a big Water Runs Dry guy. I think that that was a song for us that was right up the middle, meaning that, yeah. you know, we came out as R&B group. We put out some other records that kind of went yeah. more pop and then we was, was switched over. But that one was right down the middle. That was urban. That was pop. Had a little country yeah. twang to it. Had a little orchestra stuff in it. So it was pretty much the essence of what the group really, really is about. Might not have been the biggest record, but... Yeah. For me, that's my favorite record. What's the response been like for the fans? Uh, you know, I know a lot of people have voted in, in the contest so much so, and correct me if I'm wrong, you all have actually extended the deadline. So this has been pretty popular with your fans. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I heard a lot of people, you know, not say fighting, but, you know, it's just one of those things where people got their favorites and everybody wants Some healthy to debate. It. Yeah, right. everybody wants to express why this means so much to them and so forth and so on. And I, I think it's good, man. I mean, 30 years later, man, and, and people still feel these songs this way to actually have a to actually have a debate about what is their favorite song and what it meant to them. I mean, that that's a good thing. It makes you feel good. Do I see you have a 49ers hat on now? These uh, your, your, your Philly people are going to be upset with you. I know you're a Niners fan, right? Yeah, you I mean, with it? Listen, listen, that's I'm how you know from, you're a legend. They give you a pass I'm, for the hat. They actually do. I mean, I love them. I mean, Philly know I love them. I mean, unfortunately, uh, there's a unique story that goes along with this uh, 49er uh, in my life. I'm a Phillies fan. I'm a Flyers fan. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Sixers fan. But, you know, some things occurred in my life that caused me to be a 49er fan earlier on, seven, eight, nine years old. So, wow. yeah, this, I, I mean, I ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> That's it. You like who you like, right? <laughs> yeah, I like who I like. And this would have been a team I'd have went to college and tried to play for from Duke Boys to Men. So wow. So okay, before I let you go, uh, who wins this thing, Nathan? Uh, what, what's your gut telling you? My gut's telling me I'll make love to you just on the sheer sentiment. Cannot wait. Uh, you, they can't lose either way. They're both great songs. You have so many great hits. I don't even know how you kept it to 16. Uh, but Nathan, thank you so much. Uh, no problem, man. We appreciate it. We appreciate it for sure. 